let's talk about seeing the big picture to supersize and grow your business. Uh, you can see the ring light, but that's my beautiful mother. She actually got, this is her church photo, and it, it is absolutely gorgeous. She's 85 in this, just turned 86. And she tried to give us all five by sevens of it. This isn't that picture, but she tried to give us all, all of her daughters and little pictures of it. And we're like, Mom, when you take a picture that gorgeous, you blow it up and you give us eight by tens. So, so for Christmas, she did, and she gave us eight by tens of this gorgeous picture. But that is what this idiom, this expression is all about today. Seeing the big picture to supersize and grow your business. Uh, this idiom, although the origin is unknown, it's not clear where it exactly came from. They believe that it came from and originated in the artist or art world, I guess, the art industry. And with re reference to large paintings, you know, how some people do these gigantic paintings, especially really busy ones. And it would People would describe it as seeing the big picture or the big picture, see the big picture or see the pictures within the big picture. And that over time, it's believed that that expression became popular in the 1900s. However, in 1862, in the Chambers Journal called The Lounger at the Exhibition, it was used in writing and reference. So obviously a little before 1900s, but close enough. So what does this have to do with growing and building and supersizing our business? I don't know about you, but I think I've heard literally thousands of times in my life and my career to look at the big picture, especially when in corporate America, we were making a decision that they really didn't consider the big picture. It can't consider the big picture of, of profitability for the organization, but not maybe how it impacted everyone as it trickled down through the organization. Uh, but the big picture means we're looking at things outside of our area of expertise, outside of our little department, outside of us and how they impact everything else in the organization. This is especially true in business and in our businesses. We need to remember that what we do with our business impacts our customers, the people that interact with our business, all kinds of other stakeholders and people that are touched by our business. And if we are too narrow focused, we forget to look at that. We don't see the impact that we're having on our customers, on other vendors, on the competition. And, you know, most of us want to have an impact on the competition, meaning we want to serve a certain group of people better than anyone else. So there's lots of ways to go about doing this, looking at and paying attention on a conscious level and on a, an intentional level in our business. Number one, I am a huge believer in annual SWOT analysis is an annual process and systems reviews, meaning at least once a year, we look at how we do things and we ask ourselves, what impact is this having? Does this still make sense? Are there ways we can tweak and change and adjust this particular process system or area of our business that will help us to get better results, better results for our organization, but also better results for all the stakeholders that are involved in our business. We don't live in a vacuum we never have and so we we don't want to run our businesses as if they're just this little narrow ecosystem that doesn't have any impact or isn't impacted by anything else outside of us so i believe in in annual swot analysis and uh there's web tools and applications nowadays there's industry organizations that do reports that give us information about what's going on in the world you know i'm i'm not going to say listen to the news because I don't think you're going to get a real picture of what's going on anywhere, but we have to have ways and systems to, to gather information that help us know what's going on that will impact us. You know, we have to know if there's legislation coming down the road that's going to have a major impact on our business. Would have been nice to know if there was COVID coming down the road for the majority of us because we would have made different choices and different decisions about many of our businesses and been less impacted or more positively impacted by things that were outside of our control. So my question for you today is how do you make sure that you're looking at the big picture and the impact your business has on the rest of the world? I consciously do it again with SWOT analysis and competitive analysis and paying attention to what's going on in the world. I have, you know, feelers out all the time and people that advise me on that just so I realize that I only see what I can see and I need other people to help me do that. Share in the comments below how you look at the big picture. How do you see the big picture for your business? And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and build and supersize your business? Have an awesome day.